Hi there. If you're watching this video, then I've got some interesting news about the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 that you might be pretty excited about. I know that I am. So keep watching because you're watching Blue Collar Guy. Okay, we're back. So what is this exciting news? Well, there's actually two things in this news. One of them is that the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 has a firmware update. And the firmware update has to do with me. Well, I've been running my DJI Osmo Pocket 3, as you know, through a video switcher. And the difference is uh, the quality will be a little bit smoother. So if you look, you'll find that sometimes when you're using webcams, things can be a bit jittery you know, um, uh, glitchy, as they would say. But I've, as you can see, we're running it through a switcher, and this is kind of like a live stream. I could live stream this, and things are pretty good. So I'm going to show you one of my other videos on the computer right now. So we're going to go over to that. So I'm just going to scan over to that, and we're... Okay, so now if you look at me in this video, you will see that the... The movement is, is, is fairly smooth, but it's got a little tiny bit of what I refer to as micro jitters. So, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's livable. I was willing to live with it, you know, but I, if there was some way to improve it, I would have improved it. And I'm just going to go back to me now and take me off the picture in picture. So that is, was the main issue, was that I just wanted it to be just as good as if I looked into the Sony ZV-E10. So when I'm going to, I'm going to switch over to the Sony ZV-E10, and here is, okay, so I'm looking into the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, now I'm looking into the Sony ZV-E10, I'm moving around a little bit, and you don't see any jitters, and now I'm looking into the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, and this one of course follows me around, and that's why I wanted to use this in a studio setup, because I love the quality of it. This is also a 10-bit camera, which means that it has 1 billion colors, and this is a um, six or eight bit camera, which means it has 16 million colors. So this is the difference when you're, you know, recording into this type of system as opposed to the DJI system. And I found a way to make them kind of work together. And I also have a solution for these Sony lenses. And if that interests you, then stay tuned for that video. That will be coming up next. So now I'm going to talk briefly about the Osbot box. So before we have to do that, now I've got to go to the downward shot. So this is the downward shot. And I'm, now this is the box. And I tried to hook it into the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, but I couldn't get it to work. And the thing was, was that this input was the one that they say to use. But I found out that if I use this input, which is the USB-A input, and then I hook it into the back of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, it will activate webcam mode and it will function. And this one here is just for power. Now, what did I do with the other webcam? Well, this one here. Well, I've actually put it on the auxiliary. So now I've got it on the auxiliary. And as you can see, it's going through the other UVC input on the back of the OC Grossroom Pro. And now I don't, it, it doesn't have the micro, it's got a, see that? That's the, what I call the micro jitters, or the little bit of um, the jello effect, I guess. So now that I've got the DJI firmware upgraded, and I'm running it through this little box here, and I'm just going to go back to that one. So now we've got the that whole jello effect and the micro jitter situation. If you look at the other video, you can see what I was referring to. So now we've got the quality of the video up a little bit even more. So things are looking good. And as you can see, I've improved my background even more too. So hey, a lot of hard work went into that. So hope you appreciate it. So again, I'd like to thank my uh, new subscribers. I got some new subscribers and we're going to be taking this channel off into another direction. So whatever everybody else is doing, we're going to be doing something different. And that's basically how I'm going to sum that up. And everything that I do is going to pertain to the blue collar person and the blue collar budget of the blue collar person. So you don't have to be a millionaire to do the things that I'm doing. You just have to be a hardworking individual that, you know, works hard. So... 
Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm very excited about all this news and stay tuned for my next video on that whole lens situation and I hope you enjoy that one too. So take care, be safe at work and I will see you at the next video. Bye.